Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here, excited to bring you another Silver Hunt Sunday. All right, everybody, really happy to bring you this week's Silver Hunt Sunday. Now, I don't have a lot of goodies to show off. Uh, just hasn't been, uh, don't have the places available. Got to source out some new uh, locations now with my market closed and, uh, you know, garage sale season basically over. Uh, but let's show you what I got to start out my week. It was kind of nice. I uh, This just kind of showed up. I, I scored this on an auction, so this was kind of nice. You've seen these before, so this is my fourth one of these. I don't have a lot of them, but. Um, this kind of created, I don't know, milk spot gate on my channel when I showed about cleaning these. And you know what? I think I might do it to this one too, just to, you know, because I want to because it's bullion and because I know some people will be upset at me for it. <laughs> but there you go. So I grabbed one of those. It was just nice to pick up and add to the, uh, the stack. So some bullion there was nice. Got a good deal on that. Um, adding a few, some Mexican owns is always a good idea. You guys know I love my uh, Libertads, uh, my owns there. Um, have more of the older ones. I actually prefer these. Um, I like the, oh, and on the ding on that one. Another one like that, no. Oh, and I've got like two or three on it like that. That's pretty significant. Look at that. They didn't notice that. Well, whatever. It's bullion. I got a good deal. It was the only ones they had, so. Perfect. That was my score there. And then, uh, Funny Mario there, he's always got a few of these. And everybody knows that uh, having some constitutional silver or junk silver, I, I'm a little careful. Uh, had a great time on Saturday on the live chat. Uh, really appreciate everybody uh, acknowledging me and giving me a shout out there. It was nice to talk to everybody when I wasn't having technical problems. But uh, there was a few comments about whether or not this should be called junk silver or not. And, um, uh, you know, I, I affectionately call it junk silver. In my way, it's almost like code. Uh, people don't understand when you say junk. And uh, if you walk up to somebody in some sales and you say, oh, you got some of this junk over here. Do you mind if I have it? They're, uh, they think this is garbage, right? So affectionately junk silver or constitutional silver. But uh, So I picked up 10 of these. These are all right. I think this, you'll see, look, there's a couple of them. That weird kind of toning on them. The reason why I say it's weird toning, there's only a couple of them. If you look at the coin... Up close. It's going to be hard on the camera. I think somebody tried to clean them. I think that's the result of the cleaning. Just because of the way it looks. I could be wrong. Um, but there's just something strange about that that's different from what I've really seen of a normal kind of toning on the coin. So I grabbed those. And then the pièce de résistance or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if I said that right. But uh, I don't have any of these. I won't be getting a lot of these. Um, but I decided that it was important for me to have them, especially at the prices that we're seeing lately. So, uh, I got myself a couple of pandas and I like the pandas. My wife likes the pandas too. These are the, the good ones. They look in really good shape. I really haven't noticed anything wrong with them at all. Um, I was very happy. I, I, I got a good price on them as well. Just a few dollars over spot. Uh, I, I don't want to say exactly. I don't talk about it like that. Um, but, uh. More, I guess more than a few dollars, but standard what you'd see out there, but not astronomical. So we got that guy, and then I also got the old one. I'm sorry, the new one, uh, the 2016. So I got the 30 gram panda as well. And then the proper uh, neat cases with the little, I don't know what you call them on there, little spots to hold the coin still. They look all right. They don't look in any, uh, I don't see any significant uh, marks on them or anything like that. The eyes are right. They're definitely real. I weighed them. I did take them out. Don't freak out everybody, but I did take them out. That's on the case there. Oh, that might be in the case. See, a little fluff in there. Um, but uh, I wanted to take them out because the pandas, I've, there's been so many horror stories of getting fake pandas and I wanted to make sure I didn't get fake pandas and I didn't want to mess around with them too much but I took them out I weighed them I you know coin slide them um they they seem really good to me so apart from I'm not doing acid tests or anything on these god no um but I picked those up they may be my only pair of pandas uh, but I definitely wanted to get a pair of pandas. So nice little addition, small addition to the week, everybody. But uh, remember, when you're stacking on a budget, just adding a little bit when you can is important. Uh, right now, with the silver prices, it's a good idea before they start going up to try and pick up some of the, uh, um, you know, the more collectible pieces that you can make your money back on later. Uh, things like pandas are pretty safe that you're going to be able to get that money back later. But, um, you know, there's still 
and everybody's got an opinion on that stuff. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. I enjoyed it. Uh, sorry that it wasn't as exciting as normal, but I promise you as the weeks go on, uh, I will get find some more silverware and some exciting coins, and uh, it'll, it'll be great to share with everybody. So remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see everybody soon. Take care. Canadian Silver Saver, out. Thank you.